The wonderful Wayne Madsen was amongst the runs again as he became the first man to score 1,000 championship runs this summer after he secured his third hundred of the season on the opening day of the LV County Championship match between Derbyshire and Middlesex in Derby. With Toby Rowland-Jones and James Harris fit again, Neil Dexter decided to have a bowl first after winning the toss, and the game nearly started with an unusual run-out after Ben Slater lost his bat at the non-striker's end. Things didn't really work out as Middlesex had planned against a Derbyshire side which is beginning to show some real fight in their attempts to stay up in the first division of the championship. Slater and Chesney Hughes made a steady enough start with a stand of 37 on what was a sluggish surface. That may have been responsible for the mode of Hughes' dismissal as he got a leading edge off Gareth Berg to offer Roland Jones a simple catch at mid-off. Hughes was out for 16 and even though Slater survived until beyond lunch, he had his moments of fortune, especially against Harris, who beat the bat on several occasions. But the morning session did belong to the batting side in spite of such moments. Slater and Madsen, a man in outstanding form right now, saw out the session which was probably more than they'd hoped for after being put in. This was the shot which took Madsen to his 1,000 runs, becoming the first man in the championship to do that, and for a team which has largely struggled in the top flight this year. No longer, it seems. They won their last game against high-flying Sussex, and in Slater, they are developing a talented opener. This Nick Boundary took him to his second successive four-day 50, this one coming off 128 balls with five fours. Alas for him, he couldn't go on. On 53, he edged a rising ball from Harris behind to go with a score on 118 for two. Oli Rayner then removed Shivnarine Chanderpaul for a couple, Sam Robson with a catch at short leg. Madsen, though, remained and he moved with few problems to his fourth successive championship 50. He'd needed 95 balls for this one, with that being his seventh four. His county must be very happy to have a player in such tremendous touch at the moment. It was mostly a quiet afternoon, with these shots of aggression from Richard Johnson being the exception rather than the rule, but again Derbyshire would have been happy with their work as they went to tee only three wickets down and well placed. They lost their fourth in the second over after the break, Johnson rather giving it away by driving Adam Voges straight to Harris at mid-off after making 33. Madsen continued to battle hard for his runs as the Middlesex attack kept things very tight against him and Alex Hughes, who was on occasions given something to hit or edge as he made 33 of a 66-run stand for the fifth wicket with Madsen, who had by now moved into the 90s. The second new ball did for Hughes, who was trapped in front by Tim Murta as the batsman tried to play across his front pad. But Madsen was not to be disturbed and the brilliant batsman went to three figures half an hour before the close with a clip off a rare bad ball from Murta. It brought the Derbyshire captain his 10th four off his 204th delivery. Once again, he'd done an exceptional job for his county and had ensured that they'd stayed well in touch with their opponents here. Middlesex were boosted by the late wicket of Tom Poynton, who'd made only a single when he was bowled via the inside edge by Murta. But Peter Burgoyne and Madsen saw out the final half an hour in adding 24 more runs to take the home side to a score of 279 for six by the close. That means that neither side has the edge and there is all still to play for in this match. Although Derby should do still have Madsen at the crease after more than five hours of batting. He will go again on the second morning on 105 and Middlesex will need to be rid of him quickly.